Hey, it's Dr. Jeff Durgan. I wanted to talk to you today about one of the most common procedures that I perform, breast augmentation. I get a lot of emails and inquiries about breast augmentation. Uh, people are curious about how it's performed, how much it costs, what it's like, what are the risks, and so I'd like to go through that with you today. I'm also going to highlight my credentials and let you know uh, who I am and what I'm about. I'm going to go through the process of the consultation at my office, uh, the forms that you might uh, encounter at my office, the uh, operative uh, procedure, and the post-operative care. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy. In high school, I decided I wanted to be a doctor, so I went to Angelo State University on a full scholarship and then I went on to the University of Texas Health Science Center to do my medical school. That was four years. I did my surgery residency, which was five years at Scott and White Hospital in Temple, Texas. And then I became certified by the American Board of Surgery. After some years of practice in general surgery, I went back and did cosmetic training with one of the most well-known cosmetic surgeons in the world. Following that, I became a member of the American College of aesthetic and cosmetic physicians. I became board certified by the American Board of Cosmetic and Aesthetic Medicine. I became a member of the American Society of Aesthetic and Cosmetic Physicians as well as a fellow of the American Academy of Cosmetic Surgery. My training was uh, with a gynecologist who specializes in cosmetic surgery. Therefore, I became a member of the International Society of Cosmetogynecology. My office is located in Midland, Texas at 5000 Briarwood Avenue, Suite 203. And when you come in, you'll be asked to uh, fill out a patient questionnaire. Before any surgical procedure, I go through your past medical history, past surgical history, and we do a preoperative evaluation to make sure you're okay to undergo anesthesia. When you come to the office, you'll see me, and I'll evaluate you with a nurse or female proctor in the room, and then you get a quote for the services that I would like to offer. Our policy is that we have a 90-day guarantee that if you're unhappy with something from your surgery, I will correct it. The cost of breast augmentation averages between five and $10,000 in the United States, depending on where you have it done. And the reasons for breast augmentation are to get larger, fuller breasts, more symmetrical, even breasts, better cleavage, and improved overall breast shape, period. There are different options for where to place the incision for the breast surgery. I prefer the inframammary, which means the incision is below the breast crease. That makes it the most invisible incision possible. Uh, post-operative. As part of the pre-operative evaluation, we go through the different type of implants and help you choose. Most of my patients choose silicone. I'd say 98 to 99 percent of my patients choose silicone because they're uh, they give a more natural feel and natural look and they're considered very safe. Some patients want to go with saline the only problem with saline is they can uh, lead to uh, evaporation of the water within the silicone casing and lead to rippling where you get a rippling effect uh, that's noticeable at your cleavage. I do all my procedures, uh, my cosmetic procedures in the office. We have a fully stocked operating room with all the emergency equipment we ever, would ever need. That's how I trained. We use uh, deep sedation with propofol, ketamine, and Versed and I use a local anesthetic to numb up the area. Like I said before, the incision goes in the inframammary crease, which is along the underside of the breast, and it's the most uh, invisible incision. I find that the incision fades with time, and it's not noticeable. I don't like to put the incision around the areola because it uh, can d distort the look of the areola and can be noticeable. Same thing with the uh, underarm. If you're on a beach with your arms up, sun tanning, you don't want somebody to see the scar uh, in, your, in your underarm. As far as the surgery goes, uh, 
We do it under deep sedation in a fully stocked operating room in my office. Like I said, we give you some uh, Versed, uh, that's the amnesia drug. We also give Benadryl and antibiotics prior to the procedure. Um, I administer the uh, medication throughout the procedure with a sterile uh, three-way stopcock, and I have an RN that monitors uh, during the anesthesia. The procedure takes about an hour, an hour and a half, and there are different options for where to place the implants based on the shape and size of the breast. There are two options for breast. where to place the implant. One is subglandular and the other is submuscular. So if a patient comes in and has small breasts and is younger, they go submuscular. It gives a more natural look. But if the patient is a little bit older and or has more breast tissue, then I place them subglandular and I find that this gives a more fuller, natural look. Otherwise, you might get the double boob effect with one boob up top and one boob down low and none of us want that. This first patient presented with smaller breasts, so I placed the implant submuscular under the pectoralis and it gave a very nice natural result. The patient was quite pleased. The second patient presented with more glandular breast tissue so I placed them subglandular, and she too is quite pleased with the result, and I think it looks very natural. As far as the post-operative care, I normally have the patient come in after a breast augmentation within one to two days after the surgery. We check the wounds and make sure they're healing correctly, and make sure there's no hematoma, seroma, or any complication from the surgery. It's extremely rare for any complication to happen, but I wanna make sure that if that does happen, that I'm aware of it. The arm restriction is limited after the surgery for about 10 to 14 days. We don't want you to lift your arms over your head in fear of displacing or uh, interrupting the implants. We do send you home with post-operative medication to include muscle relaxants and narcotic pain medication. And I have a 24-hour answering service where the patient can call and ask questions in case there's any questions or problems. The ER is always available, but I don't like my patients to go to the ER unless it's absolutely necessary. I'd rather them call me and have a short conversation and uh, keep them out of the ER than have them go to the ER. And if you live anywhere near Midland, Texas, where my office is, uh, we're gonna have a special running through January 1st with a discount on breast augmentation. We're also going to have a giveaway based on sharing on Facebook and other social media and liking my channel. So please remember to like the channel and come back and see us again. Thanks.